Two parcels just arrived. Ah, I've got a feeling I don't know what these are. Yep, that's a new mountain or a mountain for a new aerial for uh, for AIS uh, system that I've bought and I'm waiting for delivery. Oh, so that's that. So that's the that's the aerial mount. So this will be the new aerial. Hi guys, normally I don't go in for uh, unboxing, but um, just got a package this morning which I think is, uh, if I think it, what it is, it's rather exciting, or is for me anyway. So let's have a look. So, not open this, oh yes, there we are. Um, this is a Matsutech. AIS transceiver. Um, wanted uh, to uh, or oh, transponder, should I say? Um, wanted to add AIS. We don't need it for the river, but um, let's have a look inside. Uh, but that's not our intention. Our intention is to be out at sea, and there, yes, we do need some form of AIS. Uh, debated whether just to get a, an AI, AIS receiver, so I could just see shipping, um, but for not much more, I could get this uh, Matsutech unit, and um, it's got GPS, AIS, as a, an AIS uh, uh, transponder, so it will transmit my position as well as uh, receive positions of other craft. So, so this is the unit. It's got a nice little um, cover. That's reasonable size unit actually. Uh, it's 4.3 inch screen so that's quite small uh, but uh, we don't have a lot of space. Like everything on, on boats things are, have to be compact. Um, that looks pretty good. Uh, so we've got the VHF in, GPS in, and must be made power. And that's for something else. Not sure what that is yet until we go through the instructions. So, not bad. It was uh, 326 quid. So, Quite a bit cheaper than uh, the branded uh, models. Um, at least half the price of, of many of the branded models. So I thought it was worth taking a chance. I couldn't find a great deal out about this unit on the internet. Um, it, very, it, it's a Matsutech model 528A. The A means that it's AIS. Uh, we find HP uh, 33s, 33As, but not the 528. So I was a little bit concerned, but uh, so that's the G GPS module. And that's obviously the uh, power lead, and oh, it's got another, so, and it's got another lead in there for something. Right, so uh, that's the unboxing bit. We'll uh, have to see when I come to install it, which might not be this weekend. I've got plenty of other jobs on. Uh, we've already bought uh, a new VHF aerial for this, 
uh, so that's got to be installed. I decided to buy a separate aerial rather than a splitter. Again, it was cheaper. Um, and uh, um, we've, uh, I know where roughly the location that this is going to go. Uh, it'll be up on the upper deck where we do all of the uh, our piloting. Um, I will see see how it operates. Uh, we will have to register this on our ship's license for the HF uh, because it is a transponder. Um, and yeah, again, I will say, uh, Master Tech, uh, I'm not advocating these, uh, I've not linked with them. Uh, I've bought this unit with my own funds, so we'll see how it runs over the next few weeks. Instruction manual uh, for the unit um, actually looks well. It's all in English for a start. I've not read it. <laughs> I've not looked really to see how it uh, translates because usually we do find that things don't always translate well in uh, from Chinese to English. Uh, but uh, it does look quite uh, comprehensive. So hopefully, once I've sat down and studied that. Um, everything will come to light. One thing to be aware of with the uh, Matsutech uh, uh, unit is um, there's no mount for the GPS so you need need to sort out some form of mount. Uh, so uh, in my usual way um, I've drawn one in 3D and we're about to produce one on our 3D printer. Here's the GPS uh, antenna mount just being printed. I'm not going to do a whole lot. I'll just show the end result. But it's, it's now coming up and, uh, to the uh, threaded portion. And so this afternoon it's fitting the AIS transponder. There's the transponder as we showed before. And that is going to go just sit down there onto there onto the back of the dash and I can angle it then into the position that I want so that was the easy bit done uh, so that's the AIS uh, transponder and display uh, bolted down but now it's putting all the cabling into it so we've got uh, GPS GPS unit to put on the outside uh, which I've got my 3d printed foot which will be put on the cable for the GPS will go right through the center of that so that saves a little bit uh, I've already installed the uh, VHF new VHF aerial on the outside so that's uh, in position um, and then uh, and put the cable through but that's all got to be passed up um, in behind the unit itself and uh, power cable put through etc so uh, this is the fun bit so that's the mount now for the GPS unit uh, in position uh, it's just been sealed underneath and so after quite a bit of time it always takes a long time to feed cables through we've got the uh, um, that's the VHF cable in, that's the GPS cable and that's the power cable so they're in, I've not connected power up yet but uh, ready just to put those onto the back of the box and so this is the last of the cables on, going on, it's the VHF so they're, they're all on now so that unit can go back into its position and the cables can be fed through and there uh, we've got it installed so let's just power her up there's the beep you can see there we're initializing and there we're on Uh, on the mode button that changes the screens 
So that's part of the GPS that I don't think we'll use. That's also part of the GPS. Might come in handy that. Uh, it's still not got any satellites. Oh, there we go. Look, there's, it's quick picked up the satellites. So that's got its GPS position pretty quick. So that's not bad. Um, that's quite a handy screen. Speedo, speed over ground, course over ground, and GPS position. Uh, again, then that's uh, steering and speed over ground. So that shouldn't be that would be quite a handy little screen to have. Uh, that's again just GPS and speed over ground and course over ground in digital form. That's a programmable screen. This is the AIS. Um, not sure if anybody will be on transmitting. We're in the marina. This uh, I think is every 30 seconds it will refresh its screen. Oh, there is two. There's one just with an MSI number and one Susie Jane is uh, out there. So if I zoom in, that's current zoom is five nautical miles. So let's just zoom that, bring that down two, one, half a mile. Oh, there we are, point two, and there's one of the craft that's transmitting behind us. So that's excellent. So this is uh, the Matsatech. HP 528A. Um, very pleased with this. Turn that back up to about two miles. There. Oh, and there we go again. So excellent piece of uh, equipment so far. Uh, we have to test it uh, out on the water. Uh, it's taken a couple of hours to install. Longest bit is getting the cables in. Uh, and after that quickly powered up it's only uh, positive and negative for uh, powering up to two wires and uh, we have something handy on the bridge up here uh, and I've got the rest of the cabling just to tidy up and make neat underneath so uh, we'll see how she runs and performs uh, once we get uh, out on the water but that won't be for a few for, well, certainly not this week we're not expecting good weather uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be a more maintenance day I'm afraid. So thank you for watching. Please feel free to comment, like, share and subscribe to see more motor cruising on Ava Grace.